Hello, how are you? Uh, so, myself, uh, Mark and Larkin, who's operating the camera uh, here today, you'll see him in a while. Uh, we're down here in the Wicklow Mountains in Dublin, and, or in Ireland, sorry, and we're going to um, walk on a trail. It's only about five kilometers, there's nothing special. Uh, we're going down to uh, a place called Loch Dan. Uh, there's a lake down there, which is beautiful. We're going to head towards there, and then we're going to find a forest, hopefully, because all this area here of forest has been chopped down. Uh, it was on Google Maps, but it's gone. There's no forest here now. So we hope we'll find one up along the way. And um, what we're going to do is set up the tarp as best as we can, give it another shot this time. And then we brought some sausages along today. So we're going to have, uh, we're going to fire up some sausages with some bread rolls and a cup of tea and happy days. So um, let's go. Good to go. My lord, it's... Okay, so we've arrived and we found our spot uh, where we're going to set up the tarp here. Uh, Larkin's going to do uh, all his usual tricks with his knots that he's learnt online. And uh, set them up between two trees and uh, it's going to be an open tarp, uh, probably like an A-frame. And then we're going to see how that works and uh, go from there. So uh, let's go set up tarp.
up the uh, turf now and um, as you could see we had an A-frame it was open at the back but there was still far too much wind coming in. The wind is coming from this direction, but it was far too much being caught coming in. So uh, Norton had a great idea to basically cover it. If you have a look over here, cover the uh, the back up. Don't worry about that. That's just some moss and crap that I put in. I thought it might keep the draft out, which it did help a little bit. Uh, but Larkin got these two ends, which were originally out here, so the tarp extended much further. And then uh, he took the pegs out, put them in together, and he, he tied this in the middle together, these two. And we have it pegged out. There's a line here on the ground that's pegged out right out here. Now, just coming underneath this, uh, this is what Larkin has done. He started with this knot over here and uh, it's probably his hitch knot and uh, he started with that and ran it all the way to this end we fed the uh, tarp through and then he went to the far end well, we had plenty to go between both trees which was great he went to the far end and then he applied these things here which were great so it allows him to uh, to to uh, form some tension basically on it by pulling them back and stretching out on either side. Anyone with any experience would absolutely know what I'm talking about and say I'm an idiot and trying to describe it. But that's what I've seen. So uh, put these together and it just kept it up nice and high for us. We wanted to make sure that it was at least at waist level so we could sit down our little stools inside. So uh, come on around and have a look and see inside what it looks like. So this is our entrance, and we're on a, a, a slant here, a tilt, like, uh, so you never find a perfect spot, this, but this spot was okay. And if you have a look inside now, you can see how much room we actually have in there. There's tons of room. Really cushy, kept the wind down, kept the wind off the back. Happy days. And that was our tap. Lovely. So uh, we're both starving now, so it's time to make some lunch. Don't want them. Delish. <laughs> well, there we are. Uh, that's lunch out of the way. The sausages were delicious and the, uh, the bread it was good we wanted for once just to try and cook something up in the mountains even if it was just frying a few sausages they were delicious there's a whole big difference than bringing sandwiches up or sometimes we've brought up the cup of soup uh, which is lovely nice and warm but it was nice to cook something there have something warm create a nice smell and atmosphere inside the uh, the tarp and then a hot nice cup of tea with it as well so that was delicious so we're going to um, uh, decap now and take everything back down so happy days packed away all the gear is done I promised I did actually help Larkin to take some of the things down I took some pins up and things um, although Larkin did do most of the work today so thank you Larkin for that uh, we've cleared away and we've done one of the most important things uh, that we've learned is to try as much as we can to make sure like it was we were never even here there's a couple of scuff marks on the ground of course naturally but there's no food waste there's no rubbish we've taken everything with us back in our backpacks we prepared for that anyway for example i'm a smoker 
uh, so I brought along a small little uh, tub so I could just use for an ashtray to keep cigarette butts. I'll bring them back home and I'll put them in the bin. The very important point, obviously, about respecting the forest and respecting nature and all that shit. So uh, but that's exactly what we're doing. So it was a pleasure today to be here in this forest. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sure there will be some comments regarding uh, the state of what we've done, but we are only learning. Uh, this is our second time ever to put up a tarp. And uh, so we're just learning each time as we go. But we really enjoyed the experience today. And uh, I hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, so happy days. See you again. Be good. All right.